What's good people, it's your boy Luke here. Welcome back to another episode of Spirals Parkour Pointers. This week we're gonna be covering the speed step and the speed vault. Stay tuned, it's starting now. Let's go. So the first step for the vaults is your speed step. Speed step is the easiest one to start off with because you're using both your hand and your foot. You can do it at a slow pace to start off with and then build it up to a faster pace. Then you're gonna follow on with the speed vault which we'll touch on a little bit later. For your speed step, you're just gonna come on over to the vault and start from standing first of all. It's best if you find a, a vault that's like waist height, that way it's not too high to try and scramble over. All you're gonna do is put your dominant hand on the vault. So. Ryan's left handed, he puts his left hand down, his right leg comes on top, and then he uses his left leg to step through the gap, just staying facing forward the whole time. He only pushes off of his hand and his foot once his front foot gets to the ground. So that's your most entry level speed step. Once you've got it from a standing position, you're then gonna to wanna to do it from running. Ideally, when you do a speed step, your foot steps in the vault first, rather than your hand going down first. And the reason is, when you come to do these across large gaps later on, if you're diving hand first and your hand misses, well then you're gonna take impact to your chest, ribs, and potentially face. As where if you go foot first and your foot slips, you're gonna slip and it still might hurt, but you're gonna fall on your bum or your leg or your side, and it's gonna be better for you. So on this one, Ryan's gonna do the exact same thing, but he's gonna hop to his foot before his hand goes down. Nice and easy. So now that you've got your speed step from a running stance, all you're gonna do now is start variating it and basically try it out of as many different setups as possible. For instance, practicing it on your left hand and then practicing it on your right hand, practicing it from two foot takeoff, one foot takeoff, that sort of thing. When it comes to developing it, it's quite easy. You can simply do it out of vaults. So a nice one is the cat pass speed step. Um, Omar demonstrated that earlier. Otherwise, you can start doing things like speed step 360. That's when it gets a little bit more technical. It's also a really good transition move. So if you do like speed step 360, step round, and then into like a cartful. Again, Ryan did that one earlier. But there's loads of ways to progress it. Just start playing with it and having some fun with it. So common mistakes for the speed step. To be honest, there isn't really much that you can get wrong with this, but some people do seem to have a little bit of trouble. The main things are just not putting your hand down, putting your elbow down, it's quite a strange one. Um, putting your knee down rather than your foot. Obviously, knee is kind of more comforting in terms of you know you're not gonna slip off of it, but if it's a concrete wall, it's absolutely gonna hurt your knee and you would not be jumping to your knee outside. The next one is just not giving yourself enough room. So if I try to put my hand here and my foot there, to get my back leg through that gap is obviously going to be more more difficult than if I was to just spread out like this. It allows me to step through with a lot more ease. They're really the main kind of things that people get wrong. Apart from that, you shouldn't have much trouble with that and it progresses quite nicely onto the speed vault. We're starting now. So in terms of now progressing it from the speed step to the speed vault, it's really, really easy. You're gonna use the speed step as a progression. So Ryan's gonna do this a couple of times to show you guys the stages, but essentially he's gonna do a speed step, but he's not gonna put his foot down for that long. So rather than using the foot to take the weight, he's just gonna tap it on the way past and then progressively move his foot further forward. So the first one will look like this. You can see he didn't really tap his foot much, but it was on the back end. So now he's gonna do the same thing, just move his foot further forward and try and get it closer to the front end. So you can see on that one that his foot was nearly at the end. He thinks he's probably got enough power to get over. So all he's gonna do is, if he needs to, he might go through that progression a couple more times, but all he's gonna do on this one is just lift his hips and feet up a little bit higher so he can actually clear the vault and you've got your whole speed vault. Now obviously it's not as clean as it could be, so he's gonna go back and he's gonna start to clean it up. All he's gonna do this time is run into it and take off of the ground before the hand comes down. Have a look. There's your speed vault. Cool, so now you've got your speed vault. The first step is to just get as comfortable with it as you can. So I would definitely recommend practicing it on both sides. Not only is this good in case you get injured on your dominant side, but if you're running at a wall and you happen to fall on your weaker side, 
you're probably not going to be able to stop in time before actually committing to it. So you're going to have to take it on that bad side. And if you haven't practiced it before, you're going to find yourself in some danger. Other developments could include doing things like a diving speed, double speed, or doing things like dash into speed, which would be pretty crazy, but the list is kind of endless. We're going to touch now on the common mistakes of the speed vault. So, in terms of common mistakes for the speed vault, again, there's not too many really that you can get it wrong with, but essentially the main one is taking off too close to the vault. You can see that if I took off here, I'd end up kicking the vault or kneeing it, which is obviously isn't ideal. The next one is using your arm to actually support your weight. So this occurs because you're not jumping off your feet and then passing the vault, you're putting your hand down first, which obviously isn't ideal again, because then you're just gonna be going over it really slow, and it's a speed vault. The next one and the last one is taking off with two feet. Not that this is a common mistake, but it does make the vault harder. If you take off with two feet, you've got further to take your hips up and it makes it a lot more difficult. So make sure you learn it off of one leg. So guys, this was a nice quick tutorial because the speed step and the speed vault are two really, really easy vaults that you can learn really, really quickly with just simple progressions like the ones that we've shown you. Now the next couple of tutorials that we'll be releasing will be released on Patreon. You can find more information about that coming up on our social media and our website soon. So thank you very much for all of your support so far. We can't wait to see you over at our Patreon. Take care for now guys, drop a like, comment and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.